Morning. Morning. Can you give you something to check out when you have time? Not that you have time when you're in college, but it's a worldview DVD. It talks about worldview, asks the big, biggest questions in life. And okay. No strings attached. Nobody's right. gonna ask you for money. All right. Okay. What do you ride? Oh, I ride a Honda Shadow. Is that one of the smaller ones? Yeah, it's a, it's a standard starter for Honda, but it's a nice cruiser when you're trying to get in town and you're a college student and you save on gas. Trying to save on gas, right? Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, completely get that. How long have you been riding? Uh, about a year now. Yeah. Started last season in August, so yeah, about a year. Well, my name's Todd. My name's Mike. Where are you heading off to? Uh, I'm a PSU student, so yeah. I go from Boston High to here. So you're heading back to the high school? Yeah, I just have one class there, which is choir. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time since I've been in choir. Yeah. <laughs> I used to love it. I don't know if they'd let me in anymore. So. <laughs> what they are you do studying? Have, they do have st like city stuff where you could probably join. Oh, if you wanted. I didn't know that. Um, <coughs> I'm studying for my double A. Oh, cool. So what year are you, a senior or junior? I'm a senior in high school. Senior? Second year. So you're halfway there. More than halfway there, then. Yeah. You'll have it by the time you graduate this year, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. um, can I, you got a couple extra minutes? You got to get going. I don't uh, want to keep you. Depends on what time it is. I can look. It is 9.51. Yeah, a few minutes. A few minutes, so. You raised here in the area then? Or? Yeah. With Michael, right? Mm -hmm. um, you much of a church goer? Or? Uh, no, I used to be, and um, I uh, converted to a different religion. So, well, what were you going for? I was uh, open, I went to an open Bible church okay. downtown. It's called uh, Living Bible. Okay, and so you converted, where Where? where did you convert to? I can, I'm a, I proclaim myself as a secular Buddhist now. Okay. So it has an agnostic point of view. Yep, I'm familiar with secular Buddhism. So it, it follows the teachings of Buddhism without the religious trappings of Buddhism. Yes. So, so I, I'm not 100% percent familiar with it. Could you tell me a little bit about it? So basically it follows like the same the hands same. up to her while you're while you're talking. Can yeah. I give you something to check out when you have some time? Yeah. Have a great day. Sorry about that. So it basically follows the same um, viewpoints as Buddhism in general as a philosophy. Okay. And then it believes in the agnostic viewpoint of Buddhism that there is some form of God but we're not sure about what God. Right. So it's more of a philosophy in a sense than a religion. Which Buddhism is a, a religious philosophy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It I've, just depends on what sector you believe in. I picked the right person to talk to. So I like this thing. Um, how does secular Buddhism deal with guilty conscience then? It deals with as like um, as self. It's a very self uh, self driven religion in a mm -hmm. sense or philosophy. It has to do with your own prowess and how you believe the world. That's what really resonated with me. Because, like, not to say that there's anything wrong with Christianity, because I respect other people's beliefs. Yep. Uh, it just doesn't We can resonate. disagree and still yeah. be disrespectful. Yeah. yeah. Or still be respectful, yeah. not disrespectful. Yeah. <laughs> still be we can agree and still be disrespectful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, um, it just never resonated with me like the way I grew up because I grew up in a denominational household. Mm -hmm. And my mom was forced into oh, no. religion when she was younger. Um, yeah, my, I'm, I'm scatterbrained. I, things distract me, but I'm always hearing you, trust me. So, your mom was forced into a religion. Um, what was she forced into? Lutheranism. Lutheranism, okay. So, was she forced into it or was she just raised in it and it was kind of like, this is what we are and this is what you're going to be? Mm, it was forced. It was forced. Like you she, know. she grew up without. Um, she grew up with a very abusive aunt that took care of her. Okay. Like, very verbally abusive. Okay. So. Um, so then, did she, is she the one that kind of led you into the Open Bible Church then later on, or no, did that kind of happen on your own? Yeah, I do that. I did that myself. Okay. Um, like I'm still friends with um, the pastor at the time. His name is Paul Jenman. Okay. Um, He's a very good friend of mine. Can I, so let, let me ask, I'm going to ask it this way. So, with your secular Bo Buddhist view, um, or with secular Buddhism, and the worldview, obviously they're going to carry some of that Buddhist philosophy of do no harm. Okay. Um, so, are you vegan then? No, I'm not vegan. But it, it, it has to do with a lot of the do no harm, kind of like a lot of... Um, Stuff in like the Leviticus is considered 
not always correct to some viewpoints of nowadays. It's more of, like, I don't go hunting. I don't physically hurt animals. I don't go out killing uh, animals, but I do, like, eat what's from the grocery store. Okay, so as long as you're not the one that's actually doing that. So, um, I want to ask this question in a respectful way and not have it come off it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, how, how would you address the... Uh, how would you address this, the, the concept of, okay, so I would imagine that part of your, your, your secular Buddhism or your secular Buddhist worldview is that everybody has their own road to whatever God there is. Mm -hmm. And therefore, which has, are you familiar with postmodernism? I do not believe so. Okay, so postmodernism would be, actually would be a very compatible view with you in that Postmodernism would teach that there's no such thing as absolute truth, and that truth is contingent upon everybody's individual perception of what truth is. Would that describe a little bit of what you would see in secular Buddhism? Yeah. Okay. I thought so. So, so you would say that every religion is is correct for the person following that religion, yeah. mm -hmm. um, but it may not be true for another person. So if you have two people, so let, so obviously we're coming from, you're coming from a background similar to what mine is, but your background now and your worldview now, would we would be at odds in in the exclusivity and deity of Christ. Yeah. Can is it is it in the reality, not just philosophically, but in just reality, the way the laws of logic operate, mm -hmm. is it possible that we can we can both be right? Or is it more likely that we could both be wrong and one of us is right? But is it really possible for two people to disagree and still be right? I think it depends on what religions they are. Like mine has the agnostic point of view as in like... Right. That we know some, there's something out there yeah, but we don't know what that something either is. Either a god, a goddess, etc. But... Okay. Would you, would you ever look at somebody and say, well... You're wrong, as far as their religious view. I would respectfully disagree. <laughs> Touche, Michael. Right? Yeah. <laughs> You're good at this. I give you credit for this. You've had these conversations with people, haven't you? Yeah, I, I, I studied a few different religions and tried getting my broader perspective because I always no. I I study world religions yeah. because yeah. I I want to know because believe it or not, when you do what I do. I'm a regional missionary, and I don't do it full time, but I do it a lot of times with my days off. And so I like to know what other people believe and what they, you know, how they perceive things. And it doesn't do any good to not know anything about any other religion at all, mm -hmm. because you can't ever have an educated conversation. Yeah, it's really hard to have a respectful conversation with somebody if all you're doing is saying, "Nope, you're wrong. Nope, you're wrong," and you don't know anything about them. Um, so the I guess the quandary is is that. The way that postmodernism or even secular Buddhism, the way you're describing it, would work is that every single person is born with an innate sense of right or wrong. Where does that come from? I would have to say uh, there's a bunch of perspectives, like people talk about nurture versus nature. Correct. Um, like I believe in that both of them play a role in each other. Like there's um, strong backings in like uh, psychopaths, how they both have, um, there can either be a genetic component and there can be component that is from them being raised. Uh, it's actually been studied recently and was found that there is a genetic component, component in most mm -hmm. people that are considered psychopaths, but it has to be triggered by something like a major event or something like that or the way they're raised. Right, there can be, there, there can be uh, cultural mm -hmm. and uh, philosophical uh, ideations that lead to a person's behavior. Uh, I think when you talk about like right or wrong, good or evil, it's a, it's a spectrum because it depends on the cultural sense. It depends on where you grew up, what the laws are, how you perceive the world. Mm -hmm. So it, it's really, there's an innate perception where people can be like murder is okay, depending on what it is, like the Mayans. They sacrificed, that was a form of murder, but to their society that was okay. Ah, see, aha, what time do you have to leave? Because <laughs> I don't want to keep you. I, I want to keep you, but I don't want to be disrespectful to your time. Uh, you know, my email address is 
Well, actually, mine's on on that business oh, okay. card yeah. that's inside. I, you mm -hmm. you had one and that yeah, was in there, right? right there. I would love for you to, to reach out to me. So here, and what time do you have to go? I have to go in there. So what? I, so here's what I'll do. I, I'll I'll lay this on you, and I would love for you to reach out to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, just because that was okay for the Mayan culture, mm -hmm. was that wrong? In my perspective, yes. Right. It would, <laughs> I'm pushing on you a little hard here. In a friendly way, I hope you take it that yeah. way. Was it wrong? Not just your perspective, but is it wrong? Is murder wrong? Yes. Okay. And we know that, and the Mayans knew that, but they had the power, right? Yeah. So the ruling class in Mayan culture had the power. The ruling class in Aztec culture had the power. The ruling class of, let's, you know, I'm just throwing it out there, let's just be honest. Uh, the Roman Catholic Church was it had, it's been probably outside of secular uh, humanism, which is the, the state religion of communism, and whether they recognize it or not as a religion, it is. It's because it has beliefs and practices and, and, and philosophies. Outside of secular humanism, Roman Catholicism and Islam probably have the, the highest propensity towards, in their history, towards persecution and the wrongful taking of life of people that disagree with them. Mm -hmm. Now, that doesn't mean that all of Christianity is wrong because Roman Catholicism has done something. Yeah. But it's wrong, but it's not wrong just because society says it's wrong because, as you just demonstrated, certain cultures, certain societies, certain t points in time, certain things have been okay. Uh, Nazi Germany, the Third Reich, it was okay to murder literally, literally six million Jews and, and millions more of gypsies and other minorities. Mm -hmm. Was that wrong? It was wrong, right? Yeah. So, we, so what we do agree on is that w without necessarily acknowledging what the source is, and you correct me if I'm wrong and then push back, I'd love for you to email me. That would be awesome because um, I would love to continue the conversation. We do agree that there is, depending, without being able to point at a particular source right now, there is an innate, sen innate, innate sense of fundamental, this is wrong and this is right. You and I would agree that it's always wrong no matter what. For a man to kidnap, rape, and murder a child. Yeah. Right? Even if he lives in a culture or a society that says it's okay. But then once you start getting into different things, that's when the lines get blurred, though. Like, Ken, absolutely. Like tattoos, for example. Right. There are parts in the Bible and Leviticus that say it's not right, but that was because of pagan r rituals right. in and, Egypt. And right, and so there are people that would have that would interpret that verse incorrectly mm -hmm. right absolutely i know you got to get going and i do really appreciate your time that was it's awesome to have how old are you 17 18 17 i 17. 18 uh, cool. this month actually you think like my son my son has that same philosophical mind that you do so it's really entertaining and encouraging and engage to be able to engage with somebody that mm -hmm. is your age and thinks because i don't run into that a lot honestly yeah like another reason why i'm not christian is because um i try basing my views honestly I grew up in a non-denominational household, so I didn't have a pressure to be something I was not. Yep. I had a pressure of being something I am, so right. I didn't lie which to myself. A, which I is didn't. exactly how I raised my kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, they grew up hearing the Christian message, but we never told them you have to be this. So. Yeah, it's awesome. I love talking with guys like you. You're com you're phenomenal. Please reach out to me. I'd love okay. to continue our conversation. Right. And if you're up to it, all right, that'd be awesome. All right. So, thanks for your time. All right, thanks. So have a good you're day. Nice Ride safe back over to school. All right, thanks. I'll give you one of these to check out when you have some time. Okay, have a good day. Thanks, Mike.